Would you follow this process to get over 136 million gold? Let's find out. Yes, hello everybody. Welcome to an updated and continuing updated spring cleaning based video. Also, just to clear up, why am I dressed like a waiter? I'm not. I've just come back from uh, my mother-in-law's birthday party. Uh, it's very busy weekend, but I want to make sure that I get as much content out to you uh, as possible on stuff. So I've got an interesting little theory that came from a member of the community. So uh, this is the theory right here. I'll just get this better into uh, into shot. Would you... And I did put this question in the community tab. So if you if you've seen this and voted for this, we're going to look at this. First of all, shout out to Uvio Bar. Uh, Uvio Uvio Bar is, is the name of the person. Shout out them. Really interesting theory. Okay, this is all about the ISO bucket, mainly for those that are. Uh, I think it's like Cavalier and upwards. This one right here. It's an interesting theory. Okay, for me, it's just off the bat. For me personally, I don't really like this, but. I'm not going to throw it out as a thing. I was very much dismissive of it, but what I want to do and what I will try to do is throw it over to you, the community, as to your thoughts on this process of buying. You have 900,000 poolies. How you look to spend them is down to you. So you can do some interesting things. This is the deal right here where you get yourself the front row ticket of front row bucket of ISO 8 offer where you get three times of 20. Uh, no, 10, three times of 10, so 30, uh, 30 ISO, tier 6 ISO uh, for this one. I think if it's you lower down, you get a different amount of it, but I think it's mainly like a uh, Thronebreaker, Paragon, and Valiant type player thing. It's an interesting theory, especially when you're looking at for 100, you get 100,000 gold a time. This all adds up, right? And, and this is the main thing that I want to kind of point out to you is that everything adds up. So, of course, the sums, as I've said here with the sum side of things, it is going to be uh, 900,000 of the poolies divided by 2,500, uh, which gives you 360. OK, so 360 times 100 equals 36 mil. Uh, just uh, just to showcasing you, it's just for kind of like proof sake, 36 mil, 36 million gold. That's a hell of a lot. But also, if you sell some of your ISO, I'm not saying you should or shouldn't do this, but funny enough, if you go into game, which you've got on screen right now, sort by tier six, and then we go to, because it's class orientated, you go to class, you then go to sell, and it's uh, 8750 per time. And based on the fact that you will, and again, you have to do the sums on this one, uh, you'll have 360 buys of this, 360 times. Uh, the 10,008, you have to kind of like, well, we'll do just quickly. Let's do the sums. Okay. So 30 times 360 is 10,008, 10,800, 10,800 times the 875 you get per time of selling is 95 million gold. Okay. 94.5 million gold. So that means... <laughs> I said it's a very out there theory. We'll talk about this more in a minute. I'll add some context because there's context behind it. 130 million gold. So just whilst you're watching this video, put in the comments, do you or would you ever consider this? Of course, we're going to find out as to why people consider this. But it's an interesting opportunity for you to basically cover your gold supply for, let's say, two years. I'd like to say that 36 million is enough to kind of see you through a year. I'd like to say that 130 million gold is enough to see you through uh, a year or two years even. But you never really know. Things cost a lot of gold nowadays. And obviously with gold shortage for a lot of players, got to be honest, there might be people out there considering this particular deal. Now, obviously, I asked for context. And this is, this is interesting because I did say to this particular player... Uh, who are you pitching this for? Who's who's it really for? And and kind of like the the, the context is it is sound enough. Like here's the context right here. I've by the way I've updated this to the spreadsheet. If you want to go and check it out, of course, it means a lot to have the channel support to hit the like button and subscribe and stuff. Uh, it helps a lot. So if people are lower progression levels and the offers aren't that good, I would take the gold a million times over. The value of gold simply doesn't fall. And it always a uh, always a necessity. Sorry, uh, throughout the game for leveling and ranking up the champions, it's short term versus long term investment for me. And to be honest, the more that I, because first of all, I was very dismissive of it. Um, I do understand there's some logic to it, 
But of course, it's not for everyone. And this is something that I would say for a lot of players, especially if you're new to the game, or kind of like progressing, you need to stretch your roster wide. A lot of people will go like, oh, I can get around just using the same champions at the same rarity. Nah, mate, you need to be expanding and you need to be covering a larger net. And that, what, that is what is going to happen for seven star versions of champions. Now they've got seven stars and it means you can go wider. So if you don't have a champion at six star, but you pick it up at seven star, then again, we're spreading wider on that particular coverage of champions. So that's really good. But as I said, I don't want to be dismissive of this theory. And I wanted to throw it over to you lovely people of the community. So I did a community tab on the matter, which is uh, which is right here. So this one I put out, I think it was several hours ago, maybe about five, was it eight hours ago? Something like that. Uh, and look, we got 2,300 votes, pretty impressive. And we got ourselves a more 88% in favour people would choose rank ups and new champion focus versus golden ISO um, of that particular focus. Now, maybe I should have phrased that as being like, um, well, you can actually get 130 million gold. But the problem still remains that this particular new event, uh, this particular event on at the moment, is very much a case of if free to play Paragon players avoid the opportunity to get in tier 4 alpha that could be a dent in their progression to get to Valiant. The same way the Valiant players are likely to be either one or two tier four alphas away from getting another rank three uh, seven star. So I thought this was a very interesting topic to bring to you lovely people and kind of get a, a, a you know, good understanding of where people are up to um, with this one. So let's read some stuff just quickly from the player base uh, before we end the video as to like where you feel you might be up to. The thing is gold isn't easily available in all quests and events. Uh, the ranking up stuffs are not, that's a true point. For me, I would recommend something like incursions if that's something you might wanna do. As Valiant and someone who is slowly transitioning to free to play, I'm saving for the big 900k bundle to get another rank three. And again, this is the thing, isn't it? Like where people are kind of like up to with uh, uh, with this one. When I first saw the offers, my eyes immediately locked on the 900k offer. And as a free to play, I feel like this uh, this helps more. I guess again, it's like people are going to that to um, to that level of look, 900k tier for alpha. Let's go. Uh, I suppose in some ways. Um, uh, should have expanded the options and separated rank ups and new champions at this point. Um, well, the problem is like if you get the, the thing about the video, by the way, by the way, if anyone doesn't know the structure of the video is to go, well, would you be interested in something that's strictly gold rather than something that's going to be else? Because like, well, I'm not I'm not bring, I'm not breaking it down into several areas because here's the thing. It's gold or nothing or it's, it's gold and everything else. So maybe that's things that gold or everything else. And unfortunately, in Marvel Contest of Champions, it's it's everything else. It's it's rank ups. It's new champions. Yes, relics. But again, that's down to a personal preference as to what you're interested in. Uh, I've never run out of gold and ISO. I'm maintaining as I'm never focused on BGs and sitting on seven star rank two uh, gems, mainly as I would rank up champions in top 10 particular classes. Yes, I'm thankful myself. Re uh, recently pulled a uh, ham dupe seven star thing. Very nice. As a free to player, I can't rank up both science champions, but because I hoard resources to champions, I believe I will never lose their relevance long term. Uh, as far as the above reason, I would prefer resources over gold interesting um how are so many people uh, low on gold specifically i'm valiant and i'm only rank up on level space uh, out of my rank ups i've never been sitting at 60 mil uh, at 60 mil gold for i'm sitting at 60 mil gold for a couple of months and it's only going up well fantastic um what am i on actually so I'm on four mil, four point. I went on 4.5 mil gold i don't know if that's based on like i haven't done a lot of content in recently because I've just been really busy with stuff in life uh, so is the plan to to kind of like do more yes um, pawn key give entry to the okay I, I just read it as like pawn key what's, what's that about um, anyway yeah it's probably some important uh, right okay um, yeah so interesting it's it's a very interesting theory I'm sure some people won't find this very interesting but I find this like it's important to find out from your other player mates, what you're into, what you're doing, what what's kind of what you're vibing with, what you're low on, uh, and also what are your feelings around stuff. Like, we, is anybody else talking about the idea that you get over 130 mil gold? Like, it's it's very it's very unusual, but a lot of people don't talk about that. 
I'm not free to play, but I prefer rank up materials and can uh, find gold through 22 hours solo daily events. Okay, uh, that's that's a fair point. Uh, as Paragon, they will be better off as a rank up mats on, but uh, amount of gold and also ISO you can get is too crazy uh, to pass up. Well, it's good to see that people are interested in the other side of things, the gold. Uh, as a free to play player, I understand that gold ISO is important. However, to become valiant, everything for free to play gives them much more opportunities than gold. Yep. Yeah. Um, I've, uh, I've I've been playing this game for almost ten years, and I've only time I've was missing gold and ISO was in the first month, and I can level as much as often as I want, assuming the appropriate. And I guess that's the thing is like not rushing too much. But look, let's the end end the video with this particular thought. With this level of gold that you can potentially get, you know, this is this is what we're talking about. Is it something that could tempt your fancy when you get your nine hundred thousand poolies, or could you at least say, well, I'll buy this for, I don't know, half of that. If you even buy half of that, what's that? Nearly 65 million gold? It could be an interesting proposition. However, the biggest issue that a lot of players do possess is the following. They want to get themselves that tier for alpha. And sadly for me, I'm feeling forced to get this offer. And that's just because... I will get another rank 3 7 star with no effort whatsoever, or little to no effort, and I'll get 10,000 uh, 7 star Titan Crystals that go towards my uh, really big 7 star opening, which is coming next month. What are your thoughts on this matter and this interesting revelation of this offer purchase? Put it in the comment section, check out some other content located on screen, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now.